Hi, I'm Kevin and Shakaya. This is my partner, Casey. This is our debate. First, I'd like to start off with this picture. Here's a picture of the Delta smelt fish. It's a very small, tiny fish, as you can see. Let me start with an opening statement. California, especially Southern California, contains thousands of acres of semi-arid land. These acres do not get much annual rainfall. California is the most prosperous state in the Union, partly because of its agricultural production. California has around 36 million residents with obvious water needs. Much of the water supply comes from the Sacramento Delta area. Without this water supply, much of the state would be unable to survive, let alone prosper. Recently, environmentalists became concerned with the plight of the Delta smelt. Though the Endangered Species Act, they obtained a legal ruling saying that the pumps that move the water from the Delta to other areas of the state had to be shut down because they believed they were killing off the smelt. Our main claim is that the Endangered Species Act should be suspended in order to keep the Delta smelt policies from causing further economic damage to California. Let me start off with our significance. Our significance is that if the law stands, it will have a very significant negative impact on millions of Californians. Now, this is from Investors.com, and it says, to protect the smelt, billions of gallons of water from the mountains east of Sacramento have been channeled away from the farms and into the ocean, so they're just wasting water, while farmers watch their crops wither and their once productive land become barren. Also, Kern County authorities say that 145,000 acres that are usually irrigated with water were killed or under irrigated last year. The loss was estimated at 100 million in Kern County alone. Also, the University of California Davis estimates that the San Joaquin Valley revenue losses ranged from 452 to 647 million dollars. Total economic losses could reach 3 billion this year. Now, the Washington Times says that the region's agricultural output is expected to decline between one to three billion this year, one to three billion dollars this year, over last year, according to estimates from the agriculture and business groups. Also, the University of Davis study conservatively estimates that 24 to 32,000 jobs have been lost due to environmental regulations. Most of them come from the smelt ruling. It could approach 50,000 jobs. The situation intensifies. Now, according to the Wall Street Journal, the jobless rate is about 14% in California. However, with farming towns like Menduda, which is near the Delta Smell area, their unemployment rates are near 40%, 4 zero. Also, the Valley has traditionally been a place where someone who can't speak English or a few possessions and little education, and even limited ability to speak English could prosper by picking fruit, milking cows, or working in cotton fields. Now, my question is, where will these people with limited education and little skills do because they can't work with their farms because of the lack of water? All they're going to do is go on welfare and cause more economic stress to California. All right, let me move on to my inherency. My inherency does, is that in 2007, a federal judge ruled that federal pumps sending more than 6 million acre feet of delta water south to Kern County and other users each year could wipe out the endangered smell. Okay. Now this is from esablog.com. Listen closely, especially the last sentence. Court's order included, this in term remedial order shall not prevent Interior Reclamation or Department of Water Resources from taking any action in operating the projects. Listen to this. That is reasonably necessary to protect human health or public safety. Is this really protecting us? Is this really better for the people when you have 40% unemployment in that area? Isn't there some other better way to solve this problem without running California's economy to the ground? Also, the Wall Street Journal says that to settle the suit, the Fish and Game Wildlife Service agreed to divert more than 150 billion of gallons of water this year into the ocean. And that's 410 million gallons of water today. So today, 410 million gallons of water will be diverted and wasted to the ocean. And it's been diverted away from the farmers in, around the San Francisco area in hopes of protecting the smell. The Wall Street Journal also says that there are 130 animal species in California that is on the endangered species list. To date, not one single fish in California's water system has been removed from the endangered species list over the past 35 years. 
despite massive amount of water diversion that was supposed to help them. So pretty much, if you go on the endangered species list, you're not going off. And my solvency claim is that we need to suspend a lot immediately, but continue to monitor the situation and work on al alternative solutions. This is from the Wall Street Journal, and Governor Schwarzenegger says that he does not have the authority to turn on the pumps that would supply the water to the Delta, or he would turn the pumps on. So California's future is out of our hands. We're depending on the federal government to solve this problem. There's a lot of political opposition to the Delta smelt ruling, particularly in the hard-hit areas of California. The Wall Street Journal also states that in August of 2009, 50 mayors all over the San Joaquin Valley signed a letter asking President Obama to observe the impact of this severe water rules firsthand. Also, the DC write-up says that to install filters on the Sacramento water pumps, this would save most, but not all the Delta smelt and would spare Californians, Californians from economic destruction. So here's a possible alternative. Also, they found a new, new spot where the Delta smelt are that doesn't affect the people. And it says from the New York Times, this population, referring to the newly found Delta smelt in a different area of California, suggests that the Delta smelt are less susceptible to catastrophic events than previously thought. And another proposed possible solution is to install gates to regulate the flow of water into the Delta from the mountains and other sources. Now, the author says that the gates will keep muddy water washed into the Delta with rain and spring runoff water upstream and away from the pumps. Smelt populations have often been shown to follow muddy water. So if they keep the muddy water upstream and away from the gates, that's where the smelt will be. It will be safe from the gates which go to the pumps. And my plan of action is that we need to suspend the law immediately and actively search for and try out alternative solutions. Evaluate them and implement the best solutions. And this is from Capital Press. California Department of Fish and Game has revealed the existence of a separate Delta smelt population as an area not affected by water operations. So there's another source saying that there's another location of Delta smelt, so we don't need to worry about them going extinct. Also, the Western Farm Press says that Governor Schwarzenegger has repeatedly said we need to invest in our water systems. Now this includes more storage, conservation, and long-term strategy for the Sacramento Delta. This would be a good place to start. And Lester Snow, Director of California Department of Water Resources, he wants to build support for construction of a secondary canal around the Delta to ensure water supplies are delivered to the South. The idea has also been discussed by Governor Schwarzenegger, and this is another possible solution. The last source comes from Capitol Press, and it says the water managers say the gates much talked about at water gatherings this year would function as a tool among many that could allow successful Delta management in the future. So there's more support for the Gates project, which will keep them away. So as you can see, there are plenty of other ways to deal with this problem without destroying California in the process. Thank you.